Very critical. Very critical. And uh, the turning point in the ball game. Um, you know, when you hit a defenseless player like that, you have to allow a guy the opportunity to catch a punt. He's considered a defenseless player. Um, and it's, it's unfortunate. Man, it, it really is. It really is unfortunate for, for an event like that to change the course of the game. Um, you know, that's one of the reasons why they came up with punt catchers and having the ability to catch a ball um, because they are a defenseless player when they're looking up and they have a guy coming down on them. So um, I believe the interpretation was that he had that he caught it and that he juggled it or fumbled it and the hit occurred that caused the fumble. And, you know, again, I can, I can disagree with that. And, and obviously the mechanisms in place for us to uh, do what we do with the ACC. But uh, I tell you, man, that, that's, a, that's a tough one right there. That, that, that's a tough one. And, um, you know, but the game's over. They executed. They scored more points. They did what they were supposed to do, and they ended up winning the game. Uh, on the onside kick, what I was told that one of our guys, you you got to be at least five yards from the ball. We line up, we we on kickoffs all the times. We've done we've done onside kicks before. They said one of our players was was beyond five yards. So again, need to go back and look at the tape or the film or something to corroborate if that's the case. I've, I've I don't think I've ever seen that called. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it very well could have been. And you're looking at guys running downfield. I believe it was a pretty good punt, too. You know, so your eyes are tracking the ball and also looking downfield. Um, but again, you want punt catchers to, to, to catch the ball. And uh, like I said, it's unfortunate that um, that did occur. And it looked like it might have been a not only the interference of the catch, but a, but a blow to the upper part of his neck. But, you know, again, it, it wasn't called. They got the ball, um, and they scored and changed the game. And, you know, we, we had opportunities, but we didn't capitalize on our opportunities. And, you know, like I said, I'm disappointed for the players in the locker room. we got to finish up now. got two home games. The seniors are finishing up their, you know, their careers here at Scott Stadium. And, you know, we just uh, want to give them the opportunity to go out and be successful. Yeah, that was that was a goal line situation, and we missed a field goal for whatever. I mean, Ian has been kind of spot on for us, and for whatever the reason, um, you know, we didn't capitalize. But that that you know, again, that was critical. Um, I like the fact that we took the ball in our first drive, we drive it all the way down, and we go goal to goal, and we score a touchdown. You know, so there were some positive things that you know we saw there. Then we got into a situation where they scored, we scored, they scored. You know, so you know, again, like I said, it was very, it was a hard fought. You know, game back and forth, ups and downs, but I'm um, so so proud of the guys' effort. And it's you know, it's just we end up losing the game. You know, with with the things that have occurred during the course of the game, we can do better with some of the things that that occurred. But um, we talked about resiliency all year long with this team, and and um, you know, it just doesn't come to fruition with a win. You know, this uh, this afternoon. You know, he's an outstanding young man. Uh, reason, one of the reasons why he was voted captain because he's a selfless individual. He doesn't pout. You know, he doesn't concern himself about the stats or how many times the ball's thrown to him. You know, he's a guy that, that had some physical challenges. Um, you know, came and overcome th those challenges and and became a model of how to take care of your body and and just how to train. And so he's been such a big influence. And to see some of the catches that he made today, well, there's some phenomenal catches. You know, and um, very, you know, he's going to have a great, uh, great career when it's all said and done. But uh, he's a great young man more than he is a football player. You guys had 
trouble consistently getting the pass rush in the first half to the second half looks like you got a lot of pressure on them. How much did that kind of change the game for you guys? You know, it, it helped because you can get hits on the quarterback, and you saw there's a couple times that – you know, we got our hands on the ball, which was something we hadn't done in the past with, with linemen up front, you know, with pass, pass deflections. Uh, you know, a few times because of the rush, we, you know, we allowed the quarterback to pull the ball down and run. But for the most part, you're right, Norm, that uh, we, we got after the quarterback a little bit more. And, um, you know, I, I believe in the first half, you know, Matt Johns was like 14 for 19, was efficient. He was – Bowling was like 5 for 11 or something. I don't know how he ended up, but, but um, you know, there are a lot of things, positive things that happen, and obviously, you know, in, in the end, it counts who won the game and who lost the game, and they won it today. That defense is pretty good all year, and the fact that you scored 31 points on Cam and three touchdowns, a big day. Does this kind of feel like a, almost a wasted type of thing if you don't get a you know, win out of that on the road with how productive the offense was? You know, we keep talking about being close, how close this team is. And you're right, uh, Andrew, that, that's a team that uh, was one of the best teams in the ACC in total yardage and, and turnovers created and things like that. And, and to score 31 points on them and, and to be effective and efficient, um, you know, is, uh, it is frustrating. You know, and it all boils down to, like I said, if you, all these close games have boiled down to just a, a few plays that, that go the other team's way. And, and um, as I said, I, I'm, I'm proud of the team, proud of their effort. You know, things didn't go our way this, you know, this afternoon. Well, of explosive plays. I mean, they got their share. We got our share. Um, and their explosive plays, particularly ball down there at the four-yard line, you want to keep them down there. So that's one of the ways you can flip the field because you make them punt from that, that area. Um, but uh, like they have athletes that, that executed well. And one of them, we missed a tackle. One, we, you know, we came in inside and allowed the, the guy to get outside and break contain. So, um, you know, they executed. We didn't. And as I said, they, they have some very talented, skillful players that, uh, that made plays for them. Uh, you know, I, I don't recall. Um, no, yeah, CJ Stalker went went in for him, but um, we'll find out. You know, here shortly, and when we get back to the Charlottesville as the doctors will assess. You know, what what's what the issue is with Zach.